Hello everyone, Ethan here at Queen of Peace Catholic Church. I hope you're all doing well as we enter this fall season. Since the beginning of the summer, we've been using Eventbrite for our signups to attend Mass, both daily and weekend, as well as for other signups here in the parish. And I think we're going to be continue using that for the foreseeable future for things. And over time, I've gotten questions about how to cancel an Eventbrite reservation, specifically um, your tickets for Mass. Say someone is, feel is not feeling well and they want to cancel their ticket and give that ticket back to, to someone else who can attend. Uh, that's a great thing to be mindful of, of other people. So uh, this tutorial is just to show you how to do that and also to show, hopefully, how you can confirm that when you've... Uh, uh, registered a ticket that you actually are registered according to my understanding of event right so uh, I'll be doing that through some screenshots I hope that this uh, clarifies some things makes makes it easier to do so here we are on our main web page qpsalem.org and we'll go down to the middle of the page to register for mass so I'll click on mass sign up This will take us to our main Eventbrite page for Holy Mass. So I'll start by selecting the date of the Mass for which I'd like to attend. And I'll choose a daily Mass just far away so it doesn't mess with the weekend. So Thursday, October 29th, 8.30. So I'm just going to get one ticket, though it works the same for any number of tickets, and then click Register at the bottom. So again, filling out my contact info, most of you have done this before, so it might autofill. Now I'll just make sure to uncheck those buttons there so I don't get a lot of uh, notifications from Eventbrite besides the tickets that I want. Now I'll click register. So this will bring us to our confirmation page. This showing that I have indeed placed my order. And it says that a ticket has been sent to my personal email. So from here, we're just going to wait until that gets to my inbox, because most likely that's where you would um, go to to uh, maybe cancel an order later on. You wouldn't do it immediately like I'm doing. So it looks like the email just came in. So I'll click on that email from Eventbrite. And if you're getting this email with your ticket, you're, you know, you're in the system. We've got you down. So uh, Always double check the time and the day. Sometimes it gets confusing with lots of masses. And then for our purposes, we'll click on view and manage your order. This brings us to Eventbrite page. Uh, and so it might be confusing because it says sign up or log in. You might think, why well, I don't have an account. Well, what happens is that Eventbrite, the first time you register for any ticket, it just automatically creates an account for you. Uh, Maybe it didn't seem like it at the time, but, but you're in there. Um, so you'd put in the email that you used to order the ticket and then uh, your password. Now, some of you may have forgotten your password or didn't know you made one in the first place. And so if, in that case, you'll just click on forgot my password. And then they'll send you another email to your inbox. Pretty fast. And you can reset your Eventbrite password. So I, I know my password, so I'm not actually going to click on the button, but if you didn't, you just click on that set a new password button and then you could get that changed. Make sure you write it down, uh, keep it in a place you remember. And then once we have that, we'll go back to our event right page and I'll sign in. So this will bring us to the order page. And here, you know, I can review my tickets. I could print them if I want. We don't ask you to when you're coming to Mass because we've got your name on a list. Uh, but for this, I'm just going to click on Cancel Order. And then prompt just to confirm, yes, I do want to cancel this order. Always good to double check which order you're canceling. So then I go back to my current orders and it shows I have no upcoming tickets. And neat feature of those, you can see other tickets that you've purchased or registered for over time uh, for, for any event on Eventbrite. So 
So one unfortunate thing about the current uh, system of Eventbrite is that seems that it doesn't allow you to partially cancel an order. So what I mean by that is if you're a family of five and three of you can come but two can't, it doesn't seem to let you cancel just those two tickets while keeping your, your three. Uh, so if you find yourself in this situation, uh, you can do one of two things. You can either email me, ethan at qpsalem.org, uh, or you can contact the parish office, and we can take care of that for you from the administrative end, um, canceling just those two while, while keeping the rest of your tickets. Or you can cancel your whole order. Cance- so for example, cancel the order of five. Um, and then just re-register immediately uh, for three tickets. And since you've just canceled your order, those tickets should be back in the pool to choose from anyway. A little inconvenient, um, but it just seems like that's the way way it works. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I hope it makes it easier. And uh, just thank you for your continued flexibility and um, willingness to try new things uh, during this time of COVID uh, that we're all learning. Uh, so uh, thank you very much. And if you have any further questions or concerns, uh, please feel free to let us know. And we'll try to do the best we can to help. Thank you and God bless.